Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us all kneel and together let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Daily Offering God, our Father, I offer you my day. I offer you my prayers, thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings in union with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, who continues to offer himself in the Eucharist for the salvation of the world. May the Holy Spirit who guided Jesus be my guide and my strength today, so that I may witness to your love. With Mary, the mother of our Lord and of the Church, I pray especially for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. We pray that we all will make courageous choices for a simple and environmentally sustainable lifestyle, rejoicing in our young people who are resolutely committed to this. I also offer the intentions of all my relatives, friends, and my personal intentions today. Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed to many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed to made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever, amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you, God entrusted his only son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Treat them prayer for the feast of the exaltation of the Holy Cross. Jesus, who became, because of your burning love for us, will to be crucified and to shed your most precious blood for the redemption and salvation of our souls, look down upon us and grant the petition we ask for. We entrust completely in your most sacred heart. Cleanse us from sin by your grace sanctify our work give us and all those who are dear to us our daily bread lighten the burden of our sufferings bless our families and grant to our country so sorely afflicted your peace which is the only true peace 
so that by obeying your commandments, we may come at last to the glory of heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to the Eucharistic celebration. Today is Monday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time, and we celebrate the memorial of St. John Chrysostom, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Now begin with our celebration as we highlight that remote healing can be possible if we have faith in God. We remember in a very special way all the intentions that we have received from our webpage and Paris office, people whom we promise to pray for. The frontliners, the homeliners, the victim of this recent COVID positive and its variants for speedily recovery and healing. For the souls in purgatory and the souls who are not remembered in prayer. For peace in Afghanistan and for our personal intentions. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us call to mind our sins. For our lack of faith, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For our lack of charity, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For our lack of hope, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, a strength of those who hope in you, who will that the Bishop St. John Chrysostom should be illustrious by his wonderful eloquence and his experience of suffering. Grant us, we pray, that instructed by his teaching, we may be strengthened through the example of his invisible patience through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, there is also one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself as ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. For this I was appointed preacher and apostle. I am speaking the truth, I am not lying. Teachers of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish then that in every place the man should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. Hear the sound of my pleading when I cry for you, lifting up my hands toward your holy shrine. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I find help. Then my heart exalts, and with my song I give him thanks. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. The Lord is the strength of his people, the saving refuge of his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed them and carry them forever. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die. And he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, He deserved to have you do this for him for he loves our nation, and he built the synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them, but, then, but when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and let my servant be healed. For I too am a person subject to authority with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes. And to another, come here, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard that this, he was amazed at him, and turning said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When the messengers returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Holy Gospel 
wipe away our sins. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. The healing stories in today's gospel narrative is a prayer request that the Lord could not reject. Why? The request was powerful enough, yet humble coming from a person with authority and power. If we try to deepen more of our reflection, what made the word powerful? The centurions manifested, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof, but only say the word and let my servant be healed. Powerful in a sense, he is pleading not for himself. He is pleading for a servant who is about to die. He cares so much for his servants and supportive of the Jews despite an officer of the Roman Empire. From this gospel unfolding, we can learn the three relationship dynamics that our present public servants need to have or possess. The first dynamic speak about exalted view of God and serving the people though you have vested authority and power you need also to accept moments of limitation The centurion that represent the public servants in today's world trusted in the impossible. He was moved with faith and he recognizes in Jesus as the miracle worker. Sana po, my dear public servants, tingnan nyo ang inyong kapangyarihan, hindi ang kinatinataglay, kundi kapangyarihan ipinagkaloob sa kabutihan ng mamamayan at sa kabutihan ng Diyos. Kung sa ating paglilingkod, Diyos muna bago sarili, bayan muna bago sarili, at higit sa lahat kapakanan muna ng mga may hirap bago ang sarili nating kapakanan. Sa tingin ko po, may himalang magaganap sa ating pag-iral sa lipunan. Because, we trust so much God's divine providence and intervention. The second relationship dynamics that our public servants needs to have or possess is what we call the caring view of him or the lowly view of oneself. Dapat Pag tayo'y naglilingkod, hindi tayo mayabang. Nauunawaan ito ng mga magulang. 
kung yabang lang naman ang itatapat mo sa paglilingkod sa tahanan, your children will be devoid of character. Pero kung ang paglilingkod mo, ang tingin mo sa iyong sarili, you are a true public servants. Isang lingkod at isang utusan. Makikita natin, kapatid, na ang limitasyong pagdaraanan natin ay madaling tanggapin sapagkat we try to rely on God's abundant graces. Hindi po tayo iniiwan ng Diyos. Manapay, iniwan natin siya sa ating paglilingkod sapagkat ang iba sa atin naging bulag sa kapangyarihan, naging bulag sa kayamanan, naging bulag sa impluensya na tila yata siya ang pinapangunahing mahalagang bagay sa lipunan, hindi ang taong kanyang pinaglilingkuran. My dear public officials, let us learn to be humble because humility is the very foundation of our Christian life. Humility is the very foundation of our life of holiness and fidelity. The third dynamics that we need to understand for public officials, public servants to possess, is the caring view. The centurion in today's gospel reach out to the helpless. Hindi lamang po ito yung may pangangailangan. Talagang salat sa pangangailangan and about to die. But he recognizes the divine mercy, the divine forgiveness and compassion of Jesus as the main elements for recovery and healing. Kasi sa paglilingkod po, kapatid, sa totoo lamang, meron kang itataya. Itataya mo ang iyong kaganapan. You become the reflection of God's love, mercy, and forgiveness. At dito lang natin nabibigyan ng hustisya, kapayapaan, pagmamahal ang ating pamayanan. Sapagkat sa tatlong dynamics na ito, we recognize God in relation to ourselves, we recognize the others in relation to ourselves. At ang pinakamagandang highlights ng Ibanghelyong ito, let us look on the two attitudes of our present leaders of today. Public servants who does not love cannot govern. The main purpose of serving is loving. Sabi nga po kagahapon ni Mother Teresa of Calcutta, I must believe in order to love. And I must love an order to serve. My dear public officials, this is the mandate for today's governance. You cannot govern without loving your constituency. And the second, public servants must be humble enough to serve. May kababa ang loob sapagkat po wala kayo sa poder 
kung hindi sa pagmamahal ng tao at sa sagrado nilang paghirang sa inyong pag-iral upang kayo ay maglingkod. Huwag sana tayong mayabang. Huwag sana tayong nagmamalaki. Huwag sana tayong minamaliit ang kakayahan ng ating kapwa. Huwag sana nating ipinahihiya ang ating mga pinaglilingkuran sapagkat ito'y refleksyon ng ating pagkatao. Kung kailan tayo mababa sa tingin ng tao, doon mataas ang kanilang respeto at paggalang sa ating mga tinataglay na posisyon o kapangyarihan. That is why in today's unfolding, we pray for our present leaders that they may govern well, that they may bring our homeland forward, moving forward and not moving backward to achieve peace for the common good. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Chrysostom, the bishop and doctor of the church. The way he governed the church, it has several elements. For his constituency or parishioners, he admonished the rich to share their charity and resources. He disciplined and reformed the clergy that they may be able to manifest God's like attitude to people. Acting and persona Christi and pastoral charity. He advocate, advocate, his advocacy regarding marital relationship is about fidelity. Married couple, be faithful to each other as you are faithful to God. And at the bottom, the advocacy for charity and peace. And which, that is our Christian obligation. Ang sabi po sa atin ng butihing santong ito, Let us relieve the poverty of those that beg us, and let us not be over-exalt about it. St. John Chrysostom, Pray for us. Jesus attended to the appeal of the pagan centurions who felt unworthy to welcome a prophet of Israel. Jesus praised his confidence in him and grant his request. Let us pray to the Lord who answered the needs of all his children. Lord, Give us the faith of the centurion. Lord, give us the faith of the centurion. May our hearts feel compunctions for all those who suffer, even those who do not share our faith, our culture, and political beliefs. May our common humanity bind us all, we pray. Lord, give us the faith of the centurion. Like the pagan centurion, May we trust the power of Jesus' word and invoke it even in our unworthiness, we pray. Lord, give us the faith of the centurion. Like the centurion who asked for the healing of his servant, may we show concern for people who work for us, who serve us, and those whom society considers as of little account, we pray. Lord, give us the faith of the centurion. May we acknowledge and appreciate the goodness of people, including those who do not share our social or religious beliefs, we pray. Lord, give us the faith of the centurion. May the resurrection of Jesus, that does not bypass suffering and death, open a path in the abyss of our suffering 
transforming evil into good, we pray. Lord, give us the faith of the centurion. For the intentions of our parish community, the particular petitions and thanksgiving intentions being offered in this Mass, for our personal intentions, and for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory, we pray. Lord, give us the faith of the centurion. Lord our God, Jesus responded to the faith of people by healing the sick and those possessed by demons. We, your unworthy children, come to you in our need. Hasten and come to our assistance. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer to the humble and to our life sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present in commemoration of St. John Chrysostom be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we to give ourselves entirely to you and praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Chrysostom, you bid your church rejoice, so to your strength and her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe and answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy. holy. Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With the love of Christ, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy, Have mercy on us. On us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that these mysteries we have received as we commemorate St. John Chrysostom may confirm us in your love and enable us to be faithful and confessing your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look, O Lord, on the prayers of your family and grant them the assistance they humbly implore so that strengthened by the help they need, they may persevere in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We stand before.